more aggressive, but look at the pace of Fnatic. They're going right in here, and it's left onto Soulcast to defend. Oh, this is going to be quite nasty. Doma is actually finding Soulcast, and the Fnatic side seem to already have conquered A. Link considers to make a little move, but all he gets is a few shots through the wall. The wood is not the best kind of cover, and Liquid now needs to consider what is the plan for the retake. It's going to be tough to try and get back in from here. Scream, no dash remaining, so can't even really make space. The single cloud burst available to try and push him a little bit further forward and have ready and set with a paranoia to leave these remaining players blind. Oh. Even with Scream, near sighted, he'll be able to take down one with a pop flush. <laughs> What is these pictures? <laughs> the pictures are brilliant. And take a look at that. It is pretty much nobody else than Boaster. Face palming already, but Scream is actually doing what... Right. But now we're actually going to get a force by straight away, Seth. <laughs> Fnatic oh. break back. Yeah, and it's Boaster playing on the desktop of Durka. But in the meantime, Liquid have a quite easy time shutting down this fast execute. Well, poor Doma is getting rabies here. Solkaz is finding him with the little Tasmanian Tiger. And as Mystic is flanking around, Boaster realizes there are more players to come over spawn. And Scream just milliseconds away from killing him. No dashes away, but all in time, the weapon that has basically been made for Adel is not gonna find him a kill. It's still looking somewhat doable. Fnatic are finding kills left, right, and center. But finally, it's all make you the godfather of my children if I ever have some. Let's put it that way. Either way, Soulcast starting off good as Doma is having the reply to that. In the meantime, Fnatic split up quite massively and all over the place they are waiting for the right kind of entry. So just leave Durka over in front of a short. Works successfully on the first. Knows that Breach is near. No one can cuss on the side, but that should vanish before Scream is even entering. He has pretty much of an idea where he is. But as Doma fails, it's all working in favor for Liquid 4 now. As though, you have to say, obviously, it's made for the retake. Link's waiting and gets killed. Durka goes on and on. Same with Magnum and the trio survives and prevails. The first round is finally... Why aren't you seeing shock dots go over to destroy a lot of the early utility? Give some space wow. for Durka to push <laughs> over the top. But it is just one, and then a quick trade for Scream. And that's the thing, it is just one. It might have not been even that successful as they thought it would be in the Bladestorm. Just some success, but Doma obviously finding the kills when needed. Problem though, it is Yumpy who's left alive. Ice Cold Finn finding Mystic. And this brings it down to Duel of an IGL and to the star player of Liquid. He finds it, the triple is his. And Low take from Fnatic. We've seen them almost burst into sites for the majority so far. Very aggressive, very fast <laughs> takes, but that just an old use for information. The From the Shadows finds every single player. Uh -oh. And once again, oh. it's a fast take, but oh, screams No way! And Yumpy can only make it one. Suddenly, they just all jump on the site. Brilliant stuff from Link. And that's a two versus two that could easily work. Once more in favor of Liquid. The utility, while not looking so great, at the same time, you still see that there's a guiding light for the man who just has to wiggle around the corner. And here it comes. Boaster is blind. But Doma got the reply. Finds one. And Boaster chimes in when exactly needed. Could it be another A play? No. No, it doesn't look like it. And, and, and taking a look at it, Soulcast... He's actually going to be caught before you see that little Hunter's Fury getting him. Brilliant stuff though from Dirk. And Magnum chimes in and gets the double over on sight. And this should once more get them to spike down. Liquid backs against the wall. Opportunities are limited. And you have to put a lot of thought into that retake if you want to make it work. Because considering the kind of situation Fnatic is in. Two shock darts on Boaster, for example. An updraft, a smoke onto Durka. It's brilliant. It's amazing to see what they could do easily with that. At the same time, it is concerning what Breach is able to do. The fault line is absolutely dangerous. It's going to be put towards Durka and Boaster, actually. But no chance in the end. Yampi is trying to find exits, and he would be lucky. A pace change, a faster push, and it looks like it's going to be B once again. The double D's entering in, the big hedge in front of the house, but Dirk... Oh, he's oh, whiffing the initial ones! No way! He is flashed, I'm fully with you, but at the same time, it would have been just one lucky shot and things could have worked decently. That is now the earthquake coming down middle, and the problem starts to arise from the Fnatic side of things. If there wouldn't be their hero called Doma... And that brings us to a two versus two, back and forth once more. It's once more such a tight game, so close, but do they know where Link is? It doesn't seem to be the case. Well, indeed they know, but he finds the quad. Oh my god. Whereas on the other side, well, you got Scream using a Bladestorm. 
he's gonna be the spotlight. Well, it's Yampi who starts shining. And that's a brilliant 2k he gets. The pressure that they have made over there is obviously being absolutely on display as Magnum goes further over Garage. Easy access. And he throws his head into the game. Scream is now known. And still, <laughs> remains back in the corner. Be a nasty surprise, but it seems like he's actually checking it. He's wise to the position. Big brain Soulcast might have just turned around on its head as they will now go for the A afterplant, but in a three versus two. Spike's gonna be hitting the ground at that moment. I faced it. He did, but now it's down to Fnatic to punch a buff their weight and set sail towards a fifth, because otherwise it might be Liquid running away with this first half a little bit. Here it comes, fault line in combination with the flash, and he gotta tell his teammate that they're all just coming down. Magnum on his own, he should be isolated. This is a the, the approach that Bosa describes as just poking. You know, he's, he's trying to poke in every direction, see if he can find something, gain room slowly and steady, but sometimes your opponent got the right angle on you. Yeah, Liquid have done really well to shut down a lot of these attempted lurk plays. Left. Like these sneaky pushes through behind have been something they're more than aware of. A team that obviously does their research. That's a pretty important kill though. Yumpy goes down. Now Scream is still available on the site. They've actually left a second player here as well in the form of Link. So it's not like this is just a freebie push and the time could be everything. <gasps> they need to clear Link from Spike the corner and he's already going to get They don't realize. <gasps> they didn't realize! It doesn't seem like they noticed that Scream dropped down, but this is suddenly Soulcast. Guys are actually going to be towards the A side. Now, they're, they're faking this. They, they've thrown in smokes, paranoias, even TP'd to the back of A. This is all a ruse. They've tried to drag as many players as humanly possible, but Liquid have still left... Well, I was going to say two players here, but let's say one now. <laughs> Let's say one now. Cryptics still waits and sees the head of Boaster, but is going to be eliminated immediately. West with now the breach, putting down his fault line over on the side. Everybody oh, no. somewhat <laughs> concussed. The Herc is already on the quad and seems like he might be just hungry for the ace. As it is all down to him to kill his fellow countrymen. And obviously you got three more supporters left here on the battlefield. As Sturka uh, moves around. Left hand, mate. Uh, left hand. Left hand. Hello. Uh, He's going to find him. Yes, he does. There is the A. First is the point ban. The action over on the seaside. It comes in. First frag found. The second one not granted. And suddenly it's Fnatic in the driver's seat of this pistol. Yeah, they've got the spike down as well. Yumpy's lurk is actually not going to be catching too much. And I'm not sure what this paranoia can actually do. He's used it, but they're not going to be able to catch any of the players because no one was really close enough. That utility popped a little bit too early. And, well, it's going to leave it on the remaining Oh, Both teams are forced in the second round to try and get a head start over their opponents. Didn't work for Fnatic. Ooh. Well, it's worked a little bit better for Liquid, but Doma does do incredibly well to keep this even. At the same time, they basically got B-Control and could put the spike down if they get into a safe position. Yep, there's a tripwire. Now this has been deactivated as well. And Fnatic, players are all around the world. As Dome Magnum can get the spike. Served on a silver platter. Thank you very much for that one, mate. And now the support from his teammates coming over spawn. That's ideal. Behind him. thing is, though, he's got a trip down. There you go. It has to be destroyed and that'll be information enough. He's got his teammates supporting him as well, so it's going to be a little bit more of a problem for Yumpy, and he will lose that battle as well. I, I really am I'm always astonished how some fans come out also with the term retirement oh. home, because this does not what? look like resist home. I've got your train. Oh no, oh no. <gasps> no, no, he actually just avoids and <laughs> jumps over the squid. And well, for him to get two there, I, I'll be honest, I didn't expect him to get the second kill. Not a bad spot to be in Aftershock, forcing, forcing Mystic out, but he actually manages to remain. The trade's not too bad, but it's going to be Lefty Yumpy. One versus two, they know where he is. And if there's a man you want in the clutch, obviously this Yumpy. The Doma heard that, but suddenly the spike's hitting the ground, Tom. The problems start to now become a little more difficult. They know where he is, but it doesn't stop him. He's just absolutely fearless. Making the move on the first. Can he get the second? No, he can't. Oh, just in time. It's an absolutely astonishing game so far. Liquid oh. are just not missing it too much. Fnatic send Dirk in coming in he's hot shit, over. He's heard it. Yeah, he heard knows. It. Yeah, the That's... aggression this time being punished. A, a slower start for Liquid just waiting patiently. Yet to win a round on their attacking side, but 
You know what, I think this one's looking pretty good. A four versus two Spike after plant. Planted. Not really knowing the positions of either of the players, but the next one might be for free, that actually. Soul cast, but it takes him a moment. He'll get there in the end. The corner, Soul cast awaits him, and easily... More of a tough time. It, it's actually not much of a defense at all, and I'm surprised that Magnum even challenges that. The Seaside True. one that a lot of teams are very happy to go for the retake, but his <gasps> risk of playing alone is not really going to work out, and oh, it should be a kill for Solkas here. Dirk, a 1 what? HP somehow survives, but they're now fighting 1v1s one, one and clear out some of the utility, spot the positions as well with the Tiger, and with nothing really being there, an afterplant more than likely, or <laughs> <laughs> a little oh, bit of a no. surprise, and actually, that nets them a free kill. But granted, it will be traded back very quickly indeed, and I think they're almost reliant on Durka now to pull off a hero play. Okay, for anyone here from mid to the peak, brilliant stuff what? from Poster! He's getting them lined up, his ult is now ready as well, but is he going to find anything? No, he's just... <laughs> Elevated the corpse, but he gets information. That's brilliant. Cryptic's tacked and down to so many. But Yumpy might be just coming around the corner. They have no clue what's happening. First frag found, and Cryptic's bring back and brings them into life. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's exactly same thought we had, but now it's the thought of Dirk Ooh. that sends them into the right direction. Brilliant. Think again over that trip. So they're gonna have to try and be a little bit more aggressive. I, I do like the play for <gasps> Liquid. Oh, he actually snaps back to the second head and he knows that there's a second no wire way. on their left hand side Durka gets this kill onto screen this round is over and he, oh, oh it's actually he's not gonna get it it no, looked like it was no. set in stone but screen has brought this back into a winnable position down to the one versus two but one of them so desperately low they might even spot out cryptics he's in this corner with his phantom they're gonna try and beat him together and he can't quite snap back huge round from Durka and the liquid are gonna look to break back and they've been very good at doing that so far Durka hero to villain they're instantly dead within this round, no way to bring him back, and straight away Boasty is going to be stuck in this corner, and, well, dead. Oh no, and there's even the one-way smoke back to spawn, so suddenly, welcome back to the back-and-forth game, this is Team Liquid fight. For example, in, in a multitude of places. Now, once again, they, they faked some early presence into mid and A, but they're going to go pushing into this seaside. The defense of it so far hasn't been fantastic, and again, they're going to try and force Magnum out, they're not actually watching the angle. Oh, and this might be Doma saving today. He's actually backing off. 15 more seconds for one of those guiding lights, but it's more soul cast oh, and has high geez. impact. The Gravitas off those kills. He's sending them back home and down to the coffin. And as Scream waits for the flank of Dirk, he's getting the counterpart out. Team Liquid, they bring home number. I've well, got Tom trail. easily can answer that. It was actually picked by Fnatic, and this is making it more dramatic. Now we might just head into overtime if Boaster and Misty oh keep on. God. The man's not seeing a thing. He might just be blindfolded, still finds those kills. That's just a specter, by the way, putting that down here. But it's still Yumpy who could deliver us a show. First frag granted, second as well. The third and fourth Ooh. not coming in. Ooh. How close. And as he patiently sees the players coming around, <gasps> he whiffs on the first nearly, but okay, we're gonna rest that case. Still more are coming over to the side of A, and as from the left hand and right hand, Dirk and Co are chiming in. Yep, no real issue to get the spike down, but the retake, that case isn't close yet. And here comes the guiding light, or is it? Yep, mate's blind, but Boaster got it all in favor <laughs> for his team. He doesn't look too happy though today, I think. Hello? Uh, oh. We're looking no. at Yumpy. Because this flank is everything. He could kill off not only Boaster, no. but he might even hear the footsteps of Durka running in behind. That's becoming problematic. At the same time, Fnatic got so much utility, he knows. Yeah, he knows, but he's not going to find him. Still, man advantage over on Liquid, and the Prancing Horse still looks good in just this situation. Spike has been planted. You still have to fight against Durka, who's not hitting the shots you would usually expect. Magnum Slank is not successful as well, and this brings us only to Mystic. Good luck. A nice try is probably the only thing you can say, otherwise he will be just an apps. And it's given Scream quite an aggressive spot to try and take a face. Now there's so much information seconds. gathering, but because of the paranoia being low, they actually get nothing for it. The counter flashes coming out of Link as well mean they can't even face on the Scream no and he's going to go dashing through. Oh, no. it's a bit messy and young people. And this is where the problems arise when you sometimes don't bait out utility. I mean, it's so easy to say from our perspective, right? I can be sitting here and saying, hey, why don't you debate all utility? But at the end of the day, did you see how many pieces were thrown down that B mid? It was <laughs> so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for any of those shenanigans, but Well 35 seconds left. 
they're trying to now sell <gasps> that same fake from before. Yeah. We'll pull them back in over into an A site hold. But it's going to be left good. onto Doma. That flash Ooh. is so sick. He even dinks up Yumpy. It's not the kill, but he has done more than enough. Now, the teleport's going to come across. This is a freebie. Doma's going to get that one all day. And the fact that this man is still alive is oh, an no. absolute joke. But he finally falls. But it's bought time. And this is all that Durka needs. He's now completely behind them. They're faking out sounds. They're trying to bait in this peak. But actually, they've decided no to plant for defender spawn. That is so smart by Liquid. They made a perfect read. Yeah, they didn't have any information over a long, and therefore they made a different decision. It's only down to Scream at this point in time. And he's obviously the Belgian clutch king you'd like to have in this scenario. Adil is hearing the bullets coming over from Long. He gets Durk as well. Mystic times in, and there's no chance. Incredibly aggressive start to this round already. We're going to have a Viper for Mystic looking to try and hold them back. And this Broyce are trying to get the spike down. They don't really have any obstacle in the way. Cryptix just waits for them to enter that site. The wall could be put up any second soon. Boaster's already setting himself up with the sucks and stuns. That's obviously brilliantly done. And that's Cryptix out. Same goes for Yumpy. This is right now a retake by the book. Oh, and all the Frax Darka finds the triple again. He has the cages in support. But as the screen goes down, they haven't spotted the close player. Dirk's up. To get the execution going any second soon, but Mystic is aware. Magnum is starting off with a building crossfire as well. And so Soulcast tries to get at least a few more left, right, and center. Dirk just being in a weird position there at the end of the day. So together with Fling. Challenges, their delay tactics. Yeah, they've already managed to bypass quite a lot of the utility. Now they're going to be spotted out early, but a nice shot onto Magnum is going to clear him from the close spot. The showstopper in, and Doug actually manages to not only get a kill, but he gets out of the corner. He's quickly traded by Scream, but the remaining players start to fall, leaving Soulcast with a lot to do and Boaster lurking around the edge of the... He loses to a classic. What? Zesh, he lost it. He lost yeah, to a classic. Indeed, he lost to a classic. Absolutely great observation, Tom, and I'm, I, I couldn't have said any worse. Oh no, no. and suddenly he's getting dinged. No, 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 this is not working in favor of Team Liquid right now. The weaponry is not looking good, the weapons are not ideal, but Yumpy's turning around. <gasps> oh, this is so smart. Oh, this is so smart. TP. How does he get away with that? The sound should have given something, but I guess maybe they expected it to be a little bit further back. Mystic, though, just hiding behind his utility. The screen has been so annoying to play around, and they don't know there's a second player here. No Dome way. is just hiding like, oh, yes, walk into the corner, my friend. It's safe. Just try and go in. And, well, just look oh, at how ratty. No. This Viper setup is. Somebody asking a question about how Dirk was going to perform on Raze. I, I think he's doing all right. No, I don't know. It seems okay. It feels, but, but you're right. It feels a bit like a bargain table at that point. In the meantime, though, brilliant stuff from Scream. As it's a brilliant shot onto Magnum. None of the utility is gonna identify him purely, and that's great teamwork. The headshot's not entirely on point from Scream. And the fault line is not gonna hold him up. It's a free versus two. Fnatic got a good advantage in this. They still have to be careful though, because the buy so far has been peculiar. And with Yumpy still having not only his operator, but also Link beside him, we've seen how good Link has been at almost just setting left. up his teammates for kills. He's also one away from the Rolling Thunder as well, which in an after plant like this Five could planted. be incredibly valuable. The nade goes through. They're going to try and fake the TP out, bait them in to try and clear some of these other angles. For now though, it's still just patient <laughs> play. Durka being spotted above and a single pop flash remaining. Yeah, but that single pop flash, once they all enter the site, once they all try to take control over the spot, that might be just a game changer. Yampi is seeing the head of Doma, beheading him instantly. Link goes on, and the last player standing, that's gonna be Mystic. Back from the spawn, you gotta perform and buy the book. It is a fault line working brilliantly. Link Mystically, they didn't have a massive amount invested. Scream, I was gonna say he's only on a pistol this round, but you know what? I guess it doesn't matter. Nope, it doesn't, and ouch. That's painful. Fnatic down to two, and you, uh, a little funny story as you talked about it. Actually, Link was the one back in March 2019 who replaced Soulcast at London Esports back in CS, so maybe the synergy, they're all fine with each other now. Obviously, there was no drama, I'm just making this stuff up, but... Uh Rotate over in the other direction, and instead his teammates have just waltzed into the B-site, and now he has a perfect lurk as well, still with his Bladestorm available to him. 
The defenders, however, do have themselves to lock down, which is going to force the majority of the players out of this site. It's going to make things a little bit more difficult for them to actually move away from this one. And actually, they're going to start fighting. They've managed oh, to get themselves no. to kill. This one's obviously for free, but the amount of damage really isn't too Ooh. bad. A ducker. He pops his showstopper. He's going to get caught. It's left on to Magnum. And actually, I think some of the knives have been missed. Yep. Running out, getting very low on the amount of blades that are currently left in the hands. In They're fact, not... it's left onto one, the one oh. tap machine, and this time it is a guy going through. But again, it, it kind of leaves things a little bit awkward, and because of that, they're going to throw oh, in their no! own utility no to the other side and still gets two of them. Just becoming the hero with the spectre in hand, and suddenly Soulcast is the last man standing. Dirk sneaks already through B main, and he says good night, sweet prince, putting him out as well it's now just going to fall back into a straight up a site execution and with Durka still here that might be a tough one Ag still got his shells ready and puts that in to the right hand side he finds cryptics and suddenly one more of the swifter approaches as he's looking for the duels posters out and this is a lot of utility already out of the equation doma waits back on site slows them but can he find the kills is the question in combination with mystic most likely and the killjoy it's coming in as well, but suddenly Yumpy oh, is gonna what? go for it. He's gonna destroy that. He's gonna destroy it. Oh no, but Durkin. Wait, hold on. How's he going to so fast? <laughs> hold up. Wait a second. It's unorthodox. It's not yes. something you see very often in pistols, but hey, it's ultimate orbs. And then they can they can even just dive into the spike in the end if they really want to, and just make this one really costly for them. Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what they're gonna do. And a few stars on the B site. Information will be had. Soulcast. That is a sick flash, but Magnum is able to catch both of them. And well, while, unless Yumpy hits a pretty sexy shot or two, I don't think this round is going anywhere. And now we almost have the problem. Of maybe, just maybe, Liquid could have the potential of oh, one of those dead. comebacks. Oh, this is disastrous for Boaster. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of their utility gone as well. I'm mm. sure they have things for clearing angles, but... They don't have a whole lot of flashes in this composition at all, so this is going to become incredibly difficult now they don't have the ability to stun and pull people out of position. Nice shot from Doma, though. At least gives them something into this round, and, well, that's a surprise. He went over the top of the wall instead and takes no down way. Scream. He's making this one costly, but Yumpy is there once again. In business. Of course, a lot of utility going into the back corners, but it's going to be a very fast retake. Pop flashing themselves back in. Four, they make that five of the players for Liquid are already here. They have oh. expected this, they've rotated into this, and Scream is going to start connecting with those knives. It leaves just one man standing. It is Mystic, though. Yeah, at the green wall. Finds nothing that, though. They move over to the B side. The first man coming into the fight will be Magnum. Is he going to be eliminated, though? Actually, it's Boaster on the other side of the map. For a second, I thought it's going to be the bait. No, but Cryptix is finding it. Doma's still on it to his right hand. Oh, There's a sky it? awaiting. Do they know about the corner just underneath? Does he check it? He will not see no the chance. barrel. No opportunity for both of them. But Doma, Soulcast knows. Hold on a second. When do they finally figure out? Help your teammate! No, it does not work! The spike could still be brought to the ground, Tom. Scream. See, even though, even if he was to die there, he's already won them the round. But uh -oh. the fact is, they're mainly going to rely on Durka to get them that opener, and he won't. <gasps> That looked like it would have been 100% on point, but it doesn't seem, seem to be the case. Stoma, they'll get Scream and more players start to bombard that side. The invasion has started, but all in favor of the Liquid sites. No chance at all. Over, but look at the other side. Link has already wrapped in behind them. Now, there is going to be a turret watching. Scream already manages to pick off one, but no. there's the perfect timing. Taking out Magnum. Peek back in from <gasps> Yumpy, but no. he wins. Both no players way. win. What has just happened there? Durka goes down. And now it's left all on to Boaster. He's had a strong map, but he needs the one versus two to close it. A player up above as he looks to try and wrap around the TP into the site of Link. He's going to win them another round. An impacting pack. I'm looking at a lockdown Viper's Pit combo for the potential last round of regulation. And you know what, Zesh? I, I, I threw a bit again. Looking at the current position of the remaining two oh. players, it's looking like a ruse. Yumpy, though. With the swing back in. But if you notice, those two impactful ultimates are waiting on the other side of the map. The point is to try and clear out this site, get themselves the afterplant. We see the poison orb going over the top to section off the back of the site. 
they've still got to clear those couple of players out because realistically, this could become a little bit awkward. I love the combo though. Try to spam them out the back. Duck, he's actually missed his blast pack. No it way. could be awkward. And it's actually Magnum to go down. Cryptics <gasps> waiting no. in the corner, not expected. And now we have a 3v2. And not only do we have a 3v2, we also have a flank and form uh -oh. <gasps> off screen. No way that Doma whiffed the wall this way, but he can escape. Back into the fumes he goes, and the green acid laying over on the A site might be the cover that Fnatic need. They veiled the bomb just in the Viper's pit, and the rest of the crew of Liquid are now setting themselves up to retake the site and slam themselves into overtime. Scream is out, and Doma might just keep on doing it. It is only down to Doma, and on the other side of that wall, Yumpy awaits. He gets the oh. kill. Cure B. And well, with the spike now hitting the ground, Soulcast and Co. will take Elim further, try to extend the territory that belongs to them. Oh, goodness, and the first tool comes in. Magnum is having a bit of a problem. They're falling to Soulcast. Durka has to reply, and the Battle Sage and the boys are now coming in over elbows. Cream is whiffing his shots, and at the same time, he's backing off. The problem, though, is nobody comes in from any other position anymore. The wall has been placed brilliantly, and Durka goes on and on. It's only a Two versus three, where Cryptics comes in from the other side. It still goes on. Hold on. Dark is still doing it, and he's getting himself to half. Will he get even more? Yumpy has to get up there, and he does, but he oh. does find the kill. He Look, I mean, that's me. I know that's I don't know. Up. I feel like Mystic's giving me the smoky eyes there. But I, I, I don't know. Ironic, isn't it? And in the meantime, Scream is falling after he's already had his fat weed. It his feet wet in the snake bite. Link is, well, considering to back off a little bit. Yep, he definitely does. And he's going to meet Durka soon. The Battle Sage coming up next. Player standing. But Liquid want revenge. They were eliminated by Fnatic in Masters. Mm. Now it's their chance to do it in Challengers. Very much indeed. Doma doesn't see a thing, and this offers them an easy double, but as I say that, Boaster is coming in with an easy double as well. He wants more. All the Blades of Scream are gone, so he can only rely on his little classic there. And if that good old buddy is going to be helpful, I don't even know about that, because in the meantime, Dirk is in it with the flank. The snake bite is disgustingly annoying, ratty, as Tom would say. And the problems now start to arise as the frags are coming in left, right, and center. Fnatic seem to have it under control, but as I say that, it's only down to two more. It's Dirk and Magnum. Maul making only Dirk, but who else would you like to have in such a play? He finds the kill on Scream to his left, and it's Cryptic's awaiting him. He knows that he's close to Lambs, more to the left-hand side, so and he good. finds it again. <laughs> Classic. Oh, no, it just looks even uglier. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Tom has to wash his eyes any second soon. A horseshoe crosshair. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> it's now more and more shots coming the way of Team Fnatic. Magnum already out no of this battle and all the Seekers uh -oh. are coming in. This is even getting worse and worse as suddenly Dirk is He's out. still alive? Yep, he is. That's Doma, though. Don't get this confused. Oh. But he's eliminated nevertheless. There you go again. Here you go, Tom. <laughs> that was the thing. It's not like he's having the 250, 300 ACS, and the rest of the team is maybe a little bit slouching or something. It's actually him not capable of flourishing the same way. For example, with first kills. And those are things when you try and when you actually excel in isolating Durka that I think Fnatic really got an issue. Yeah, it's a lot easier said than done, though. True. Uh, uh, I isolating Durka is like trying to find a sunny day in the UK. Like, it's like, yeah, it happens every once in a while, but most of the time it's no more rain. I think I never said that in my life. My plants are drowning. <laughs> Either way, Yumpy is falling short in that duel, checking the corner, or more likely having a bit of an unlucky timing here against Mystic. In the buy, that was not even so ideal from Fnatic. Oh. It seems like they heard you about that they're falling short every single time. Durka is out away from the battlefield, but both are setting himself up. The players can't even oh. get out oh. of there that easily. They're taking their time, but suddenly it's the meat grinder from the Brit that makes them all minced meat. Easy stuff. She, we're going to see the Hunter's Fury invested, and wow, this is just beautiful from Doma dancing at, past every single blast of it. And as those little paint shells just recolor the floor, it's Mystic who might just have a bit of a problem whilst that wall is going down. Oh, He's running out of bullets once we're such a sinister and sad scenario, but Doma got it all under control. Bested into this one. 
Well, that's already one ultimate. Seeker's going through. Gives out the spot, but actually Magnum not going to avoid it. He's just going to sit within. And this allowed a lot of space to be taken. Oh. A nice shot from Scream, and he wraps no. him behind alongside Link to close this out. A double entry with what is mostly pistols. And Doma, oh, I, I don't know if he wins this duel. Uh, I mean, I can understand why you said that. Mystic. It's going to be a tough one. It, well, tough one, I think, is just not even uh, the right phrase. Impossible? Yeah, 100%. Because, like, Dome is just going to run straight oh, through and kill him. Oh. Yep, brilliant. <laughs> See you later, mates. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much for that one. That's Someone, I, I'm, I'm fully with you there. In the meantime, though, oh, dear. Dirk is going to have some problem. And oh, dear, as you say, it's all coming over the to the smiley face site. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it seems like somebody's rotating the pictures the entire time. And smiley face yeah. Magnum... It's going to be one of the few that now have the opportunity to retake that site easily. You see right there, Boaster putting his stars down, coming in from behind over from Hookah, and the rest of the squad waiting in front of the gates of the B site, entering from spawn any second soon, as suddenly you see what's happening. They split up the players! That is brilliant! Do they necessarily know, though, where good old Boaster is coming from? Yes, they do! Too readable for the Team Liquid side, and the fifth round should be granted, except there's a miracle. Uh-uh, ain't happening. Probably do a podcast about that, how much staff you need in the future of Valorant, but in the meantime, what we're going to take a look at is how many bullets... Team Liquid can swallow right here, as it seems like all the let thrown in their direction would become a problem. Still, they can dodge it, but that miracle has to end at one point. That That's is going to be brilliant. Yep, he's out of there. See you later, mate. Oh, Boast is still waiting around the corner as well. The last piece to the puzzle, as he's now going to drop the spike. He doesn't know Link's behind him, though, and caught in astral form, leaves it into the one versus one. Now, Doma is only on 32. He's waiting. He's positioned himself perfectly. The second he taps this spike, you'd think he would be dead. And he checks it, but it doesn't matter. Doma's going to land the headshot with the pistol. Annoyed by those back and forths again and again. And suddenly, it works once more. With the executions into the site and utility being placed and... Well, Mystic, they're going to need another hero play from him. Two kills, not bad, though. Oh and Magnum goodness. has now put him in a spot where this is actually winnable. Durka still has his res. <laughs> he's saving it it's for hard times, It's round 11. Mate. No, he's saving it for hard times, mate. And, well... This is a hard time. No, it is not yet. <laughs> Seemingly. There it goes. No, he's in the just him and him in the fight. Fight. Oh, Doma, run, mate, run. And he's still staying alive. And suddenly, it is Link. Dirk is now collecting once more the little points for his revive. Oh, and no brilliant chance. stuff coming in from... Yeah, something that... Oh, they've actually turned yeah. away. See they've spotted one, but they didn't expect Cryptics to be here. Now, Boaster in an aggressive spot. Dash is out of there. Something that you can't see from Scream on any other agent. But Boaster actually still gets away with two kills again. High impact from the side of Fnatic in spots that you really just like alone. The Flash is going to give away that he's still Ooh. here and they almost line up for him. Only... The book he needs at this point in time, he's going to stick it. Does he get one of them? Dirk still needs to be eliminated, and Doma got it secured. It's regarding pistols recently. It's it's not too satisfying. Boy, flying. Yep. The man. Oh, not this again. Not this. Th we've seen this so many times. What? <laughs> Every time they try that combo, Doma gets stuck. There you go. <laughs> and he gets killed for it. He or he almost kills himself, like we saw that previously. Uh, go very badly wrong. Now, they've managed to at least reclaim the spike, but yeah, th this has definitely become a little bit more rough. Magnum needing to win a tough clutch, and with all the players together, I, I don't know. I, I feel like he needs a miracle here. Aye, He's aye, not going to get one. Uh, I, don't I don't think his position is particularly ah. secretive. <laughs> He's just going to shut down. It now just ends up with basically trying the same round, but with a lot less utility than initially. Through. How is Yumpy winning these fights? He pulled out a shock dart. And so it's time to get yourself a quick rotation. Magnum working as a distraction over Double faking this. Yeah, they, they do. Or do they? I mean... Yeah, they've, they've thrown yeah, yeah. in the push through oh, over no. the teleport. No. Oh, he's going to win it with... No <laughs> with way. the judge. Of course he is. Doma, though, has already managed to find one back, and they, they've kind of got him stuck in the mud as well. Oh. A perfect grab wall, but they need to get rid of Link. They don't want to allow no. him in this corner, and he's already going to get his second kill with the judge, holding on to such a valuable spot for this retake. A brilliant stuff, and Scream is right now going closer to Elbow. Obviously, the Guardian basically tailored to him, but Doma with a right peek. 
but just once more get his team in the right spot and here it comes finds a double oh, no, no doesn't happen hold on it's only down to boaster cryptics on one point of health but over on hookah it is ling who gets those kills he was waiting um if you love counter-strike we've also got crims good one now in the meantime it seems like Shreem might just remember himself how good he was in CS and just comes in with the taps from his little blades as he goes. We're not seeing them with that brimstone, but <laughs> just going to pull him into the corner. He's actually going to get it halfway, which oh, no. that's more than surprising. I, I don't think that they'll realize that he's already got it to half, and that actually gives Yumpy a chance. Oh, he's almost accidentally faked it there. Oh, no, it won't. He's still in this corner. He's still sat there waiting. And then now they're even going to throw in the Tiger as well. Look at it. He's like, you know what? Fine. I'll own Die. you back. But actually, no, he's just gone through and owned them on the other side. And now Screams run through the teleporter and turn it back. This round is manic. Yep, it absolutely is. And if you ever try to find a definition for what it means throwing everything at somebody, I think this is a quite good round to define that. It took probably... 965,733 different utilities to kill this man. But in the meantime, look who got his judge. Mystic says, thank you very much for that little toy. I'll keep it for <laughs> myself. And now everybody who gets close will be eaten up by the dragon at that point. Another bit of a snake bite used, so nobody can get out of Fuka at that point. Quickly destroying the Seekers. But on the right-hand side, there you go! That's the antidote to all of it. Dolma with the quad. Right this round. You are divided! Cosmic Divide. I'm not really sure what the plan is there. It sections off the back of B and elbow, but that looks like a weird Cosmic Divide. I won't lie. It doesn't even really cut off heaven properly either. So it looks like they're trying to fake this into a B play. And then they've just gone running into the A site anyway. Soulcast is going to be the only one left. We've even seen a res. Oh, no. There we go. Not again. I mean, if Link is getting a frag with this weapon once more, I'm abs- Okay, it's time to stop with this goddamn judge. Is there any other weapon he has played? Is there any other weapon he has played this game? I don't even know. Yampi, though, on his own to pull the rabbit out of the hat and make that clutch work. And most definitely, Yampi is capable, oh. seems a bit of the ponytail, and beheads the first. Dirk is being eliminated. Nevertheless, it's going to be interesting how fast Fnatic go, because it seems like they don't even set up a player in front of bathroom or anything directly over B long they go oh! but no chance for Doma Not again. that was dirty and they've got a second Not one again. Link has now got his shotgun in a different spot but they also so facing through this would be risky but he's just waiting for it to fade he actually Wait. does go through and Dirk is going to catch him for it the wall will section off Soulcast as well, but he's going to spot over the top of it, expecting oh. Durka to be there, a fantastic read oh. that keeps the man advantage alive do they know? There's a tiny gap in that ice wall that has just been created. One enemy remaining. And there you see it. Spike yep, down. I think that was just a tiny edge. Indeed it was. Boaster still keeps up fighting. 30 more seconds to go, but it doesn't look like he has any of his little stars left. Tries to pass Soul Cass as he's looking to go through C to Yumpy. Yep, now he got the information. He definitely wants to battle. He definitely wants to fight, but he has no chance. Shotgun so far again and again. In the meantime, look where Doma arrives! Oh my god. Goodness gracious, it's seems like the airlines called Doma Fly are succeeding brilliantly. Yumpy is looking for those wall banks, but the first thing the team of Fnatic is looking for is to get the spike down. But at the same time, problems oh! arise! Sulkus comes around, and suddenly everybody of Fnatic falls! Booster can once more be the hero, and gotta put that cape on. At the same time, I have my doubts that this is gonna work that well. He's even being spotted, uncomfortable with everybody coming around. Yumpy on his left-hand side, but also unsure the opponents are just awaiting him! He oh, finds them! He gets the Spike down! There is time! There is 100% time! And Boaster could make this work! Bring this into a tie! Still got a star down on the ground! And he's playing around it! And you see again! Link is oh, opening! Oh, through the goddamn smoke he does! Drowns with the judge. Like, if anything, it was the perfect guard in those moments. Boaster, I, that was so close to being an incredible play. He made that round, but there were so many plays in it. It doesn't even matter. And they're going to aggress? Sokka said he does find the kill, but... Well, and Cryptix waits back side, something we haven't seen too often from him. At the same time, the snake bite works brilliantly. Oh no, and this is gonna be the brimstone ult being used, Tom. The problems start to get bigger and bigger for Fnatic, but the spike might just get on the ground, and it does. Yeah, used into lamps, but it seems like Fnatic were aware and avoided it. Scream trying to mask his steps with the jump down and the shot, but it doesn't get anything done. Link, though, 
It just seems like he's using every single weapon that maybe you shouldn't, and the wallback comes through from no Yumpy. It's left on Todoma. He's been a superstar in this map, but they need a little bit more from him in the afterplant. Looking for the peek back. Ooh. He'll find one, but he can't quite correct the aim fast enough. Could be our final map, and it's very aggressive from there Scream. I feel like we call that one the Chihuahua. Back on the side of A, and so as left, right, and center players start to get on the site, it's getting a bit problematic for him. Link would still have his charge ready for use, Aww. but his poster waits. Don't you no, dare. No. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't do it. Don't do stupid moves, because otherwise you win stupid prizes. And so as poster still tries oh, to make it with the right bullets. clicks. They want to die to the spike, and actually, Tom is going to wait around to get himself an extra orb. Now, you might think, Tom, he died to the... Such a friendly face. But this is Ooh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Th th that one's looking way too clean. Didn't expect that. B main control goes to scream. A lot of map presence that the liquid side have now obtained. And they can rule it out. They should pretty much rule it out. A lot oh. of pressure from Scream. That looked like a free kill. Now they're gonna have a player actually waiting and watching to try and catch from behind to stop Scream, although it's the classic corner link as well, stunning up the back line, still has flashes to try and bait them back, and he's holding the line. A second kill for him already. Scream will deal with Doma, and now it's left all onto Boaster. The IGL to try and clutch this one. Well, he knows where Solcas is. That might not matter. It's the remaining two players coming in behind, and Solcas. I mean, he has a big. He has. A, he, he, has he has a lot of. I was trying to make a story about this. Hello, my kind this. friend. You are looking very well bearded this evening. <laughs> that was probably one of those sessions and said, "Ryan is gonna make fun of any second soon." I hate you, Tom. Oh. I really hate you. Either way, getting away from that. What a glad, great kind of game. Fanatic. Oh, well, I'm going back to actual one. Are taking a good bit of control over on the A side as Yumpy is trying to take down. Trying to run through those cages, and the fact is they don't need to. They've got themselves the lockdown, something that can't really be denied. Scream is actually going to be able to stick it a little bit longer with the dash available to him. And hey, taking out Durka, well, it's, it's no easy fate. It is absolutely no easy fate. Scream primarily denied any further movement towards the B-side, but now as the Seekers are clear in the way, they definitely will go closer to the mud. Mystic waits back in the corner. Can he swing at the right time on one? Indeed. On two, not possible. And suddenly Magnum and the boys, they gotta find a way to prevail. He knows and seemingly is aware that someone is over on the left-hand side, but nope. The spike as well, so he has to go running, and he's gonna get dropped. Now there is a trade available. That's at least one player gone, but they have to run back. And Scream oh, is now it. looking to watch onto the cross. They've been able to <gasps> just about escape, but there's repositions from the remaining players on A, this trying so to get smart. more aggressive to drop the spike. The thing is right there, you saw Screamers probably communicating. They're pushing up mid, they're pushing up something like short, but suddenly they move backwards. Cryptic though is holding it perfectly. And he's the last soldier to be the guard of the site. The third frag secure. It's my goodness. Cryptic is- Last one having the spike. Like, there were so many things that could go wrong. He didn't see him with the tie. In fact, uh -oh. he's going to get ulted out. He's going to no go way. and he's try going... and fight them. <laughs> it's just like, all right, you want to go? Well, I know you're not going to ult your teammate, so I'll just try and run into your face. Definitely the case. And Magnum is coming in with important frags previously also. And Reykjavik proved how good of a clutch player he is. Stop them here. He's looking for it. There they come. Uh -oh. He's whiffing it, and he's down to the pistol, isn't he? Yep, that's only the classic for him. Link is there to support to at least slow them down a little bit. Mystic comes in. The players are now swarming onto the side, and as Scream waits, they find one after another. It's for him for the classic. He wants more. He is hungry. And once more, it's no classic frags for you, Scream. Boaster can do the same. He knows how to use that mouse. But at the same time, the spike is on the ground perfectly done here than opponents might have expected the seekers are also garner information that they're at least pressuring into mid but it's still quite passive what? from the remaining players doma is also going to catch the oh. aggression of scream and just before the stun comes through full composition you can't always highlight it but oh, at the same dear. time the way they take the control over ct is brilliant yampi I'm sure there's not going to be any aggression. Yumpy's actually just going to go straight what? out. The fact oh he gets a kill there is surprising. And the information he's managed to gather up is huge. But there is still going to be a lockdown put into place. And, well, they could survive at the back of the site. They could try and fight this one. And that's actually what they're going to do. They very much do so, but look, <gasps> no way! Mystic's actually not hitting that, and as the players are getting closer to that lockdown radius, they still have all that confidence. Dirk cannot easily enter the site, Boaster's on his own, and that fourth round seems to be granted. Boaster better get out of there. 
He still knows where Cryptix is. A flick to the right-hand side would work brilliantly, but it seems like they will swing simultaneously any second soon. Too much round. You cannot gain too much room, which they'll not let you have. It's still, those are decent darts. Okay. Finds one. Okay, we're getting there, but not fast enough. So much damage. Yep, that's a lot. Look, 1942, this is easy. This seems to be just the meat grinder right now, created by Fnatic. The players of Team Liquid might have conquered the site, but... A trip after being spotted, he's actually going to go rotating all the way back. That's a perfect paranoia. One left completely blind, but they're still traving. Man for man, at least. <gasps> somehow, what? Yumpy's brought it back into a winnable position. No, Cryptix no. with another. It's left all on to Big Daddy Durka, though, trying to turn the tide once again. It is down to the 1v1. No Both way. players tagged up. The smoke almost used to try and bait him in. This has actually helped him out. He's just going to defuse it. Wait, He's just going to stick it all the way. Yumpy has almost fuck? just handed him the round. They make a proper push, but it seems like they changed direction. The GPS tells them to go rather over short or mid. This is the question. Could still decide. Could still decide. And mid they go. But there was an alarm bot waiting for them, Tom. Which is now leading into a fake. I was being pretty much bamboozled yeah. at that point myself. Over short they go. 20 more seconds to finally make a move. This and is they a will... good fake. This is a really good... Poster's calling it. But Magnum knows. They know. Yeah. They have realized, Tom. Yeah, but in the meantime, Deep Control's been taken. Oh. Link already going to execute one on the side. But Dark, no! I might just do it! Only seconds left for them to grab the spike. I think he's just got it. Got Maybe within just... the last second. It's going to be incredibly close and he will gain. The dart even going to keep his position known. The shot dart could finish it, but he lands the headshot. It is... Both Jets playing a hyper-aggressive round. Magnum sneaks through the smoke. He knows any delay could know give exactly. an opportunity for Dirk. He has to try and dash up here, but Cryptix just snaps him out. Both. Soulcast just waiting. Right timing here on the Dirk. The spike, obviously on the A side. You, you usually see them getting there around when 45 or 50 seconds have passed, so pretty much on average here. And now Liquid, it's all men equalized again. Same amount of soldiers on the battlefield, and all with the same motivation. Fnatic could get themselves to number 11, get closer to the well and so important needed victory, but now he's he in. First player goes in. Yep, he goes through. He doesn't feel it, but he's suddenly out of bullets. How does he get away with that reload? Magnum is chiming in. There's still an operator in the form of Yumpy, and they just might all run into that meat grinder. They're doing it again. Knows he got to do something it. about it. He's going to stick it. And don't to try and turn the tide, even things up a little bit before getting the spike down, but for Liquid, it has to now be done in the afterplants. Utility not going to be in the greatest spots. And the reason they wanted to reclaim Tree is because they spotted the lockdown. They knew that this would eventually be put into place. Yep. And without Tree control, they now have to leave the site. This gives all the space back over to Fnatic. And Liquid have to try and fight back in. Magnum already looking to shut them down. Scream onto just 10 HP and they're running for the hills. They're leaving this one. It's breaking on the shore. Brilliant stuff. That's coming in from the Fnatic side of things. I just wanted to say, how much ult will they save? How, how easy do they feel taking that? At least a little bit of control. Now, uh, that's actually the spike. So, the only needs to be a little bit careful. Soulcast is actually going to go down into mid as well. So, this split thus far has gone incredibly badly. Losing the first player... It's also being watched. Durka now knows that there's one out and in the corner, but he's going to get forced into oh, a pretty no. awkward position. Just about manages to survive. There comes through the Hunter's Fury to give them another advantage. Scream and Cryptics to keep them in the map. The chances are most definitely limited. At this point in time, Scream and Cryptics are those who have to turn this one around. The spike. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much here on a silver platter. Really, it's it's the worst you could ask for by far. And sealed, sent, and delivered to the side of Fnatic. This game should be done and dusted. And well, it seems like we had on Breeze Tom. If Scream is not going to show us a master class that you will never witness He's again, die to the turret if he doesn't destroy it. <laughs> and he even gets more back. Strange at this point. He's got to make sure that he does fall back, but it's a bait for Yumpy. He'll only find himself one. And now the remaining players rotate through, but Soulcast and Scream have both found kills. They might have both found kills. But this does not necessarily mean that this is already uh, done. Doma finds Scream, who's awkwardly not hitting his shot. Soulcast goes through, but... Oh, no, oh, no! Lost. He just goes past him, and it was just trying to flick on it. Soulcast is whiffing. Suddenly, this is all in contention for Fnatic! Oh! Doma starting with an ace, and he brings it home! There isn't a whole lot of information being garnered. They're going to try and aggress. Magnum's just waiting. He shouldn't get away with more than one hit, but he no. does! Two headshots off the back of the Spectre. 
Defenders spawn. <laughs> True. In the meantime, his Link starts gut. Only one he gets, and he can't protect that B-bomb spot that easily. And in the final map of a best of five that will eliminate them from the tournament, that's a pretty big deal. Now, we're going to see the Seekers expended from Soulcast. He'll have information as to where they are, and that's a little bit more like it. Mystic gone with a single tap. He spots Doma as well, who will live to tell the tale at least. They're also going to deny that, and Link's caught another player trying to lurk through mid. Time's starting to tick away, and... Fnatic don't have much in this round at all. Ah, oh, well, suddenly they're only down to two even, and... Them there aiming for his opponent, or aiming for his teammate even. Now, Scream has managed to already find the opener onto Magnum. This is starting to become a little bit worrying, because there's already three players looking to try and defend this A site. B, with a lone defender, and 45 seconds for Fnatic to actually get something done here. I think they're almost going to need some sort of hero play, and I don't know if they'll expect Solcast to be this close. I would be surprised if they wouldn't. At the same time, it doesn't work. And here they want to sell the fake. Doma is showing them, guys, we're going A. Very competitive. But look at the aggression. I'm liking this from Liquid. They're not allowing any space for Fnatic to set up these executions. Again, we're going to see them now going a little bit faster. And this is where the Hunter's Fury becomes valuable. But it's not really done too much in terms of clearing out the site. Both players still here. But Doma uh -oh. goes pushing through. And Mystic dies to the snake bite. Oh no, it's cryptic, sorry, but oh dear. It's still awkward. I, I'd still sign that this is awkward. The Fnatic are touring around with the players who are on the B site. It's still a Viper's Pit that being put to use. Scream considers if he pushes through. Yes, easily he does. Seemed nearly reckless, and that Tasmanian Tiger seemed to find out what has happened. The wall is going to collapse any second soon. Great information they tried to gain. That dart will not get anything. Still, they need to save Mystic. He's not allowed to die. And as I say that, both are in the classic execution when it comes to A. Well, this is the absolute default we see. Always a player being put towards mid and the rest is pushing A. And as I say that, Yampi is pushing very aggressively and seems to make it work on one of them. Cryptix is still close to the pyramids and is going to find one together with Scream. Those kills are working decently. Oh! Magnum, hold on, that's awkward, but he knows where the pyramids player is. Come on, Magnum, this is not what we know, but it's still not going according to plan. A very quick round. So tries to fake Link. Does he get the kill? Nope, instantly. He had it. He's going to hold the sights. Definitely a player we saw previously on Vine, for example, having massive impact. And the players are coming in left, right, and center. But nope, Doma's going to find him. The tripwire is not going according to plan. Magnum's flank is putting a lot of pressure on Liquid this second. This is the one player as well that Scream realistically could kill with that classic. Soulcast, this kill's needed. I don't... Yeah, he's not going to get it. Now this becomes an impossible scenario. Scream... He's finally found himself a gun, the dash in, not enough time to pull the weapon back out. And Ew! And suddenly, he's coming out! That operator is eliminated from the game, and as they devour one after another, look how- And Dorky, well we can talk about that in a more chilled second, in the meantime, it seems to be coming all down to the push Ooh, again okay. over on the side of B, but in the meantime, Yampi's taking a lot of control towards Halls, and Boaster, he can only work with two other soldiers on his side dominated the tube. Now you can understand why Dome is starting to take these peaks. He's been winning the majority of them. That kill was a big... The two players remaining, Durka and Doma. You're never going to doubt them in any scenario, and especially with Cryptix being isolated, it could be a problem! Durka just runs through already spraying! Knowing roughly where his opponent will be, this will grant them an afterplan. Doma will also spot the position of Yumpy, who for now at least is somewhat isolated. They might try and make a play off of this with the remaining couple still looking to try and come in on the flank. If they can get rid of Yumpy here, the round might be over. Indeed. At one point, they will have this realization of what's happening. The flank is coming in rather earlier than later. And as Doma is just holding that position where the two are coming from, this is becoming problematic. He hits the first and needs to find Yumpy in case that is happening. An 8 HP part, and that is actually Scream on 100. And Doma on 26. Now he's going to stick it. He's going to stick it. He's going to hold it. He's going to half it. And now he makes a move. Doma is known and spotted, but he goes on. He's Doma, gotta you got to do something. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, that's done. And Liquid finds... Does not need to oh, think okay. about lineups, but now... Talking about lineups, Dirk is starting that one good. He's trying to find kills, whilst the remainder over on the A side actually hold them up from going further. Oy. Oh, it was looking good for Link, but he's going to get caught out. How are you planning to get past this turret, Yumpy? <laughs> 
Oh, and I think he almost ended up just being bait for Soulcast to give him a chance in the one versus three. Uh, Yumpy, he has some amazing moments, and then he has some where you're just <laughs> you're incredibly confused as to what the plan was there. Well, Soulcast, we've seen him pull off miracles before. He's had some incredible maps of Breeze as well, but this would definitely have to be the best of them. The clock ticking and. His position now given up. The rest of the team gonna rotate in, and no one's even really tagged. It's all either way. Poor Hypok. In the meantime, well, poor Lickard for the moment. Magnum once more takes the lead as he finds a kill onto Scream. It seems like that attack is already killed. No further opportunities as though Link and Soulcast come in to assist and flank around. Oh. Neither of them have connected. Dom is still checks, but it doesn't matter. Survive here. Somehow, just wasting a ridiculous amount of time dancing, what? dodging, weaving, and still finding the kill it's left all on to Solcas. a one versus two the spike in his hand he might have a decent idea now that boast is actually coming in on the flank after the trip was broken mm -hmm. and he's got to try and isolate one of these jewels but they're going together it's going yeah. to need to be the two taps the first not connected and boaster is there to put him and blow them into position and maybe they'll get a spike plant here actually they're starting to put some real pressure on in fact Hold on. both yumpy and link have connected headshots within a matter of seconds. No There's way. a chance here for Liquid. No, 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 this can't be happening again. They gotta check the left hand side. Does Boaster do so? No, he doesn't. Yumpy up close to Personal and makes it work in favor. And this is where you go for it again. You would think this is all easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nah, -uh. Link's not gonna be killed by that. Snake bite though. Yumpy has to make a move. Still finds a kill. Is he onto the quad? Nope. But Cryptics comes into support. This was a thrifty, my friend. He's back in off screen. He's still looking to get those players back on the side. And oh, those blades, finally. Because otherwise he would have had zero left. But finally recharged. Spike's getting down, Tom. And we might head... The Magnum is always around this angle. Is he actually... No. I was going to say, popping yeah. the lockdown there would almost be just mental. Like That, that has a, such a high percentage of being uh, destroyed. Well, He's actually going to do it. He's going to try and force them back a little bit, maybe bait out and all of his own and cause a bit of a distraction. I guess it worked in that regard and has put things into a two versus two scenario. No. Cryptics, though, landing an integral strike, comes down to this man once again. The early kill goes his way, but he's taken so much damage. It's the second attempt. No smoke this time is going to go down onto the spike. Darker, though, almost baits he him into the it. peak. Seven bullets left in the clip. Four. A single might do the job. He needs to land an edge on and he won't connect it. Yep. The other has a nail on it. Now, Dirk has finally managed to get his operator. Something that can sometimes change the rounds all on its own, oh, but he's going to no. be tagged up. They know exactly where he is. There should be no way he gets out of this alive, and, well, Cryptics doesn't actually get that kill. Yumpy's just that little bit too quick. They can do nothing to defend this A site. It is falling again and again and again, and Solkas is already homed in on the door. He knows that this player's in. Boaster, so far behind. They're just holding for exits at this point. Liquid, the lead is going their way. And as of right now, it looks like the map's going their way as well. The defensive side of Fnatic is struggling and Liquid are dominating. Oh. There are two snake bites still available here for Mystic. And he's going to be lurking within the smoke. Oh, it's a little bit awkward, but he gets away with it. Somehow still alive. And already no, no, we're going to no, see no. the Hunter's Fury come <gasps> through. No. It's two coming out for Durka. They're now starting to run out of time. They've been completely shot out of this round. And they still oh. haven't cleared Mystic. They get it at the last few seconds. The spike is going to be dropped to the deck. And now it's left all on to Solkas. Surely this plant... I was going to say it will be denied, but it won't matter. They're one of those little squids. They're going to be pulled back as well. Dome has already started this off. A first kill going their way for once. Durka, they might have just brought things back into contention, but Yumpy's still alive and kicking with his operator oh no. Oh in no. hand and Link alongside him. As information tries to be gained, he's going to knock oh, on the back door. Perfect. Takes out Boaster. And suddenly we've got into man equalized fights. Two on each. And this is becoming a bit of a bamboozle. But do they expect that he's coming from that position right there? Doma is going to be eliminated. Moog. The alarm bar triggers. And here it comes. Oh no, this is so uncomfortable. But Boaster at the same time brings him in a man advantageous situation. Magnum fails. And the A side once more is the big bloody battlefield. Spike planted. We've seen the Cosmic Divide. They can run through, they can take space, but once again, there's a flank coming from Link. 
If he can make it work again, it would be impressive, but they're trying to take this control before he uh -oh. can actually get on the flank. Yompi needs to connect some shots because Link's still going to be a moment or two, at least buying them a little bit of extra time. Oh! He hits the shot straight through the box. Gotta be One dropped, me. and now Link has the timing on top no! of It is a massive clutch again from these two, clutching out these rounds. I can tell you. I, I wish I would have an answer for you. I wish I would have an answer for you. They nope. tried to defend Magnum with stars in the last round. This time, it's going to come down to his own brilliance. He's got a smoke once again to try and defend him, but Cryptic's inside it. Boaster has at least managed to find one. The IGL trying to hold on here, trying to bring his team back from the depths. Already, though, we're going to see the Viper's Pit. Again, How is again. this man here again? It can't happen no for a third time, Link! He's just so good at getting in behind them. They haven't been able to catch him. Mystic is always the hero they need, though. The man to bring them back from impossible scenarios. He's got oh, Domer alongside really. him, but this man being behind could be a problem. Mystic again is already going to pick off another, turning it you know. into a two versus two. Has a Viper's pit of his own. It's going to bring it back, but he has to do it all.